Hey folks, I haven't seen you since last year. Today I'm going to be painting the Goobertown Gallows minus the Gallows. You start off with a base coat of Chaos Black. We start off by dry brushing some Flayed One Flesh. I had recently taken a dry brushing class, so I was really excited to dry brush this model. Then I wanted to go with kind of like a sickly kind of plague rat or something, so I went and did a second layer of Uruk flesh. I continued to dry brush both those colors throughout the entire model just to get into those little areas that I couldn't quite get into. But with the dry brushing, you can't really get into those little areas. It's very important that when you're working with um, these types of models, you slap the tail. I'm not saying something bad will happen if you don't slap the tail. I'm just saying that something bad could happen if you don't slap the tail. I finished dry brushing the skin but then it was time for all the metal bits, and I went ahead and did lead belcher for those. I didn't film this, but I also did a layer of XB-88 on the rope and a layer of blood reaver flesh on the wood. Halfway through, I realized that I couldn't only dry brush the model because there would just be parts of it that didn't look good. So I then went in with Bugman's Glow just to fill in all of the gaps. It's very important with these models that you continue to slap the tail. Fun fact, slapping the tail is actually a good way to maintain a healthy relationship with the model. The more you know. I just ended up covering the entire model in Bugman's Glow because it, it wasn't fitting with the dry brushing paints that I had used. So I was trying to get it back to its initial dry brushing look by getting some layers of ungore flesh on it. I then added a layer of Gullyman flesh contrast paint because contrast paint is very fun. Unless you ruin the model. So at this point, I was like, oh, okay, the model's looking good. I'm going to go ahead and get the other pieces, and then I'll start painting those so we can put it all together. And then disaster struck when the chain fell apart, and I learned that no glue would put these pieces back together, which inevitably meant that I couldn't actually put this model together the way that it was supposed to be put together. And I tried any glue, any glue. I tried all of the glues that I had and nothing would glue it together. I have no idea the material used for this print because I asked somebody else to print it for me, but it was a bad material that uh, it hates me. So finally I had to decide that the model was finished. After one last layer of Flesh Terror's red contrast paint, I said, okay, we're done, and you're done. You've made it to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this bite-sized mini, and I hope you have a great start of 2023.